Thanks for joining me today. My name is Kyle Chang. I've been a dialysis patient since 2013. And today we're going to talk a little bit about some healthy snacks that you might be able to have as a dialysis patient. So um, I find that sometimes I get hungry uh, while I'm doing dialysis treatment and I might need a snack or just to get, keep my blood sugar up. Um, and this is especially important for a lot of the diabetics out there doing uh, dialysis treatments that you want to keep your blood sugar up um, and you want to keep nourished while you're doing your treatments because it does pull some of that up out of you besides the waste products. So um, here are some samples of different snacks um, that are considered fairly renal friendly and that helps me boost my protein levels. So uh, the zone bars, zone snack bars are ideal um, for dialysis patients. They're typically a little bit more renal friendly. Some of your clinics might even provide this uh, without additional out-of-pocket cost to you. Uh, each one of these zone bars, depending on the flavor, uh, this is the strawberry yogurt flavor that I bought um, right on Amazon when it was on sale. And each one of the bars has 14 grams of protein. Um, so that's helpful in terms of sort of keeping your energy up, keep your protein levels up. Um, I do actually eat a lot of meats and I'm fairly plant-based. So, um, this is one of the ways where I keep up my protein levels. Another, uh, zone bar flavor that I have is this blueberry flavor. So I tend to stay away from the chocolates and nuts that they sell in the supermarket. That's why it's easier for me to buy these online. Uh, the blueberry flavor here has 20, 20 grams of protein uh, per bar. So again, it's easy for me to snack on, take it on the go, um, have it in the car or whatnot. Um, I could also keep that in my little snack bag when I take it to hemodialysis, but at home in, in uh, PD, um, I will just keep it when I'm on the go. So I also found these uh, good thins um, that are available at the market and um, you could purchase it at most market or you could look for it online. Um, they have a few different flavors, but they're gluten free. So that helps uh, some folks a little bit. And then if you read the nutrition label, uh, you could have about 28 crisps this flavor is 23 crisp, and the uh, sodium amount is 190 milligrams for 23 chips. And it's pretty tasty. So this flavor is the spinach and garlic that I have. And then the other thing that is low, uh, it does have a little bit of protein. So it's only two grams of protein per uh, 23 chips. And um, what's nice about it is it gives you a potato chip flavor. So you could skip the extra potassium and the extra sodium in normal potato chips and then have these. And what I do is when I purchase these on sale, um, I also put them in little snack bags. And that helps me uh, divide up and not have too many at a time as well. So it keeps my sodium levels in check. It keeps my potassium levels in check. And then it also gives me a very brief amount of protein. So um, this is just when I want that craving for chips. They have another flavor that I just bought recently is the veg vegetable blend. And again, it is gluten free. Um, and this one, I can have 28 chips um, for 90 milligrams of sodium um, total for the twin chips. Again, it's about two grams of protein for 28 chips. And um, it, if you read the ingredients at the bottom, it is um, very natural. There's not a whole lot of byproducts in there. Um, there's no added phosphorus. So um, these products are great for me. Some other things uh, I take for snacks is I get little biscotti bars. Um, and I get these at Aldi. So um, again, I look at the nutritional information to make sure there isn't a whole lot of byproducts. Um, they're also great in the morning if you have some coffee with us. Um, I have animal crackers also. Um, it's kind of fun for me. Uh, sometimes I, I feel like a kid myself and I get animal crackers. 
and um, again there's a lot of different pieces here it sort of fills you up a little bit um, this one however is basically sugar and starch um, and it's it's sort of a white processed flour refined flour so it's not as healthy for you but it is better than some of the other snacks like potato chips or chocolate bars or anything like that for you um, so again this is a nice snack um, Chinese folks and Asian folks like these pineapple cakes and uh, they're pretty natural they come in a pack and then really I just need one or two of them at a time um, because they're pretty filling so uh, they're pretty low in phosphorus and they're available at most Asian grocery stores so um, and they're inexpensive so all these snacks are pretty inexpensive a uh, couple other things is aloha teriyaki flavor jerky um, this reminds me of sort of like a pork jerky that we had in taiwan when i was a kid and um, it's a little bit sweet but it has pretty natural flavors again reading the nutritional labels in the back um, a one ounce piece gives me 280 milligrams of sodium so it's a little bit high you don't want to have too much of this at a time there's nine grams of protein so again i'm getting a protein boost on here it's fairly natural flavors um, and there's no preservatives it's gluten free um, so again this is a great snack on the go um, this turkey jerky and i do buy these at aldi so most aldi's would have those available they have a couple different flavors there's a spicy one i get sometimes as well again it reminds me of um, jerky that i had as a child so um, these are good snacks for me to keep on hand and of course in almost any grocery stores there's these little tuna packages um, so i don't like the canned tuna because it gives a little bit of the ten metal taste um, i'm not too in favor of it if you get it um, get the water base instead of the oil based flavors um, but star kiss star kiss tuna i have usually one or two of these packages available for me um, sometimes it's a light lunch i could eat it with some crackers or some of these snack chips um, i could eat it with celery i could place it in a piece of bread or a pita um, and put some additional veggies in there um, so it's great packet on the go it's convenient a little pouch um, you could even just tear it open and eat it out of the package as is if you like so um, don't put cheese or anything on that because that's additional phosphorus that most of us need to avoid um, but I just want to give you an idea of some of these snacks and then I have little Capri Sun juice boxes again look at the ingredients if you see these in the stores um, I get these at Aldi inexpensive for a whole pack of I think 10 of them for like three dollars um, just to switch up from water because that's usually what I drink um, is just plain water but sometimes you want some sweet flavor so I could drink some of this and just one pouch and stay within my fluid limits um, lemon tea um, you can find these little pouches and, and containers at grocery stores or Asian stores um, it just gives you a little bit different flavor of iced tea so that's nice to have once in a while as an alternative to water but in in general i do stick with just water um, so hopefully this is helpful some di different reno friendly snacks and treats that you could take on the go with you and um, if you have any questions or different things um, and different snacks that you like please comment below and if you're new to my channel, please do hit the subscribe button and ring the little bell so that you get notification when new content comes out. Thanks for joining me on Kidney Journeys.